Welcome to Narky on Tour. He's Mark and I'm Nikki. We met three years ago and discovered that we both have a passion for travel and adventure. We would love it if you would join us as we share our videos and experiences of around the world. We have Thailand with its beautiful sunsets, its incredible scenery, below water, and above. We'll share our crazy skywalks, beautiful temples, crazy overhanging rocks, and scary downhill races. Here we go! And of course, don't forget the food. So be it Southeast Asia, be it Portugal, or be it France, where we live, we would love for you to join us. We also enjoy concerts, and I hope that you'll join us to a few of our venues that we're going to this year. Good afternoon. We are at Cook Cack Beach at Koh Lak. Uh, we arrived yesterday afternoon from um, where did we arrive from? Koh Sok National Park, <laughs> where we spent the night in a lake. I've got my hands so full of stuff that you wouldn't believe that I'm trying to hold a camera and hold stuff in my hands. Right, oops, here we go. Um, there looks to be a bit of developing, making safe. Don't know quite what. Um, it's a bit wild. We're staying at Light Colac Resort. <laughs> I keep thinking. Um, for two nights. This will be our second night tonight. Um, yeah, it's okay, but don't expect an extra pillow because you won't get one. There's only two allocated per room. <laughs> Much to Mike's disgust. But at least the bed is actually quite comfy. It's, it's a lot softer than some of the hard ones that we've uh, been used to the last three weeks. Maybe sponsored by cyberholidays.com. Uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of older generation, shall we say. Um, this morning at coffee, you're allowed, you can have free coffee and uh, toast, um, as just provided, but this morning it was a bit like, I was waiting for music for Cocoon, the film, to, to start up. That's for people to appear in giant cobwebs. So yeah, it seems to cater for the older generation, which is fine, uh, absolutely fine. Um, it seems also to be a spot for a lot of Ger uh, German tourists. Um, hear more German voices than we've heard so far. Um, I'm not problem. So, it's a huge, huge beach. I think if you can see far in the distance, we're going to go around that corner and stay for Mark's birthday tomorrow night. We're going to Graceland, Graceland. Anyway, enough about that. So, um, I'll show you that tomorrow. But, yeah, it's, it's weird because there's loads of lovely hotels along the front, which means you can't actually get to the front. But in front of those are giant rocks. So, there isn't any beach that goes with really expensive hotels. I think I've done that for the tsunami. We're going to go, tomorrow we're going to go to the Tsunami Museum and then we'll be more knowledgeable on what's happened um, and why things are as they are here, but it's a beautiful, long, long beach park. Um, the sand is, is dark, it's like dark, dark golden colour and apparently the sea is like you'd find a Bournemouth, according to, <laughs> to Mark. Uh, so, would I come back here? Uh, no, I don't think I probably would. But we'll see what, what happens tomorrow. So this is the boat that was guarding part of the royal family when they were jet skiing when the tsunami hit. The boat was two kilometres out at sea and it got washed up here. 
Just seeing some quite harrowing pictures. Not sure it was necessary to see, kind of, or to show. Um, I don't know, perhaps I'm being a bit of a pansy, I don't know. Just, just a lot of pictures of dead bodies and babies and things. And I guess it was what happened, so. No sugar coating it, that's for sure. be the boat that was two kilometers out and it ended up, it ended up there. This is the uh, memorial that got built uh, in remembrance of all the people who lost their lives on that tragic day. We drove about 20 minutes outside of Kolak, up into the jungle, to Ton Chung Ba waterfall. I think because it's dry season, it's not exactly overflowing. <laughs> Some are probably the better one. We'll go back there afterwards. But this is number two of five, although five's not open apparently. I thought that was number three, which would be really nice if it was a little bit more water. We've arrived at apparently waterfall number one. I think I did it wrong earlier. Yes, I mean, waterfall number one. It's probably really lovely. And there's lots of water. It's still very pretty. And literally in the middle of the jungle. Hot and humid. That's a mess as usual. How's that relaxing? Zero hundred bucks, so it's not. I think it was really expensive. This is, would be really nice for us, maybe. It's a bit so beautiful anyway. We're jungle trekking again. The number two waterfall. Ew! Oh my god, Oh, 
Warte. Ich bin ruhig. 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 Ich bin Hey, one nail, somebody said thank you. Woohoo! Woo! 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 Remember what goes up must come down. We could do it without the blue pipe being in the way, I think. <laughs> now we'll set up a more Instagrammable shot. Look. Hello. I think that is Without getting wet feet. Oh. I'm not sure you can. You know, do I keep the video on just in case something really funny happens, or do I turn it off and help him? Questions, questions, questions. Aha. Let's turn it off, I think. the waterfall on my birthday sweaty mess getting up here but we done it and I've managed to get this far now right in the jungle oh it's going to come the other way I think Sweaty mess, but you gotta do it. So make sure there's plenty of water here. So this is the walk back to the car park from the waterfalls. You see it is pretty dense jungle.
each to their own, as they say. We're nearly back at the start now. It's just not sure if you can hear the noise. There's a really high pitched ringing. And then there's the normal cicadas is now shut up because I put the, the cord on. <laughs> but it's that high pitched ringing. So, because it's my birthday, um, we're having a little birthday treat. Something we don't normally do. We're going to uh, a five-star resort, Gracelands. It's right on the seafront. It's a big resort. Um, so many bars, so many restaurants. Um, yeah, so come with us and we'll check it out. forward to this for a few days now um, so we're so excited here we go Graceland's <laughs> best impressions. <laughs> oh, at least come Mark can't see me having a tea anyway. So, nope, losing there. I don't know where the shower is. Shower's there. Oh, oh okay, that's really bizarre. So, sh oh, I see. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> right, okay. Wardrobe. Oh god, he's gonna be so disappointed if he doesn't. Ah, uh, and the waffle! He's got a waffle robe. Oh, well, look! And slippers! And flip flops! Oh god, god knows how many people's feet has been in there. Sorry, I've lost the shower. The shower is here. So he can lay in bed and watch me shower, which I'm sure he's really not gonna want to do. <laughs> People! <clears throat> it looks like we won't be having a party because we've got. To <laughs> Two beds. This is Mark's birthday room. It came with a pool view, but I think I did. I kind of think that the pool would be a lot closer, but it's fine. It's um quite a large resort. It's not something that we used to. It's a one off. Great slings. Great slings. Great slings. So we're going to do a little tour of Graceland's Kosok, Thailand. We've just been in the pool. We arrived this afternoon. Um, 
they demand a copy of your credit card, which I didn't really like. Um, but anyway, one bad point against them. So there's various um, accommodation possibilities. We are on fourth level pool view. Bikini hanging off the balcony, which is really chavy. Um, apparently, that's the Asian restaurant. Three, two or three restaurants, I think. Um, there are several um, blocks or houses or whatever that they call that they call them lagoons, but. I don't know, I just think we bought your mosquito spray if I'm honest with you. But it is clean, it's clean and outside of people watching Yeah, you. we've got <laughs> Yeah. If bathing in public is your thing, then there's um room for baths. You never know, it might be people's things. I'm not sure, I think Mike and I have been speaking and we think that we're probably better off just about the way of everything. I want people walking past or swimming past my room and the lagoon thing I really don't like but it's definitely got its benefits there is an option I think of coming all inclusive we were only saying one night for the few weeks in fact so we were in the pool here the main pool I guess today which, God, it sounds like I'm a right old whining whinny. There's no, there's one lot of steps into the pool. It's quite a big pool, what, 100 metres long? Mm -hmm. But there's only one set of steps to get in it. So you, I had to climb very elegantly over the water <laughs> And Mike had to lift me up to get me back over. It's not a pretty sight. Um, that's the kind of cesspitty um, lagoon. So these little bungalows, they've got their own jacuzzi swimming pool, well, paddling pool. Um, but I don't like this, 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 I don't really like. I just think a mosquito, that's just for me. But it's quite a large complex. Yeah, we looked it up actually, and the, the little, the bungalows, with your private jacuzzi pool or about 400 euros a night. It's got kind of a, I don't know, Hawaiian tikka, contiki, not tikka, contiki <laughs> themed about it. I don't know quite what it's got to do with grey stands, but. the boat's great for kids playing. There's a lot of kids here as well. So there's a lot of activities, organised activities. It's, it's completely different to anywhere that Mark and I would usually go. Um, and there's that poor lady climbing over because there's no steps. Um, it's completely different to anywhere that we would usually go. Um, it's not really our bag. We're not big on organised activities. It's <laughs> this reminds us a bit like butlings in the sun. Benidorm. <laughs> butlings in Benidorm. Nothing against Benidorm. No, nothing against butlings or nothing against Benidorm. It's just not our bag. So I'm taking you down. We're going to go over a little bridge over there. And then take you to the beach. Oh, 
They're planting lilies and water hyacinths in there. Um, I'm not sure there's its purpose, I don't know. It was just wang in a minute, it's quite funny actually. So the bar there, um, if you've got a blue bracelet and you're all inclusive then you can have a beer and a few other bits and pieces between, I think it's, oh gosh, I don't know, it's up until six o'clock at night, half past six. Uh, there's a, what's in there? Italian restaurant. Oh, Italian restaurant now. Hold. But this is the, I think it's a private beach that belongs to the hotel. But it's, it's due to be sunset in about an hour's time. So it's probably really bright. Uh, all inclusive is 10.30 until 6. But they will check it for a blue armband. Some poor souls having a beach meal, which is highly embarrassing. Oh, I would find it highly embarrassing. God, I do say such a miserable cow. It's a nice wide beach, long beach. The sand's really nice and it's clean. It's been kept clean. As you can see, I've arranged a dinner for two <laughs> on the beach. Look for eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah, he really hasn't because he knows he'd be eating all his own. <laughs> well, like I said, some people, if romance is their thing, or showiness is their thing, <laughs> then it's it's lovely. I'm sure it's worth the extortionate amount of money that is charged for it. Yeah, so there we go. Gracelands. Colac. Another day, another sunset in beautiful Thailand. And another Chang. And another Chang. A Chang for the birthday boy. See you, darling. a day of memories and now just to sit back and enjoy the stunning sunsets. Thank you. 